Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some fake screen basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I'll show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to give you some fake screen basketball plays. These are basketball plays that you will have two players going to do like a sandwich type screen to another player. However, instead of a screen for that player, one player is going to be screening for the other and not for the actual player that they look that they're going to be screening for. Now, you may be seeing that I am really excited right now because, well, I've got it in my head and I can't wait. I cannot wait until May 5th. I'm going to be going over to twice a day videos and I am insanely excited for this. Uh, I'm going full time on YouTube and running my basketball training company. This is 10 years in the making and I cannot wait. So anyways, let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. How do you like my new shirt, by the way? Uh, getting all the ready for the full time type of stuff. Anyways, let's get down to the clipboard. I'm very excited. Okay, so here we are down on the clipboard. We are starting in a horns offense. And what we are going to be doing is having what we've seen many, 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 many times in the past where we have player five and four coming up to do a sandwich screen on player one. That way he would have a decision to go either left or right and use them as a screen and roll. This also opens up the whole key for the roll. However, instead of that, what we're going to be doing, they're both going to be coming up. However, player five takes is going to take a step down and player four is going to cut through and use player five as a screen. Player one is going to be then passing over to player four who could take that shot. However, what we're then going to have, if player five's man switches off, he is going to roll towards the basket. He may be open for the layup at that time. If his man does not switch and player five, I mean player four, fought through to defend player four, player five is now going to continue and set a back screen on player one who's going to use that screen and he's going to cut towards the rim where he can now get the pass for the layup. Obviously, if the defense collapses on him, you're going to have two players who are open for three point shots. Okay, so now we have a four out offense. And what we're going to do is the same thing as what we just basically showed, except it's going to be a, a little bit different. We're going to be doing it on a different player. We're going to have a sandwich screen on player three. Now that's one of our plays. Obviously, this is not a fake screen or anything. He's going to be using that screen, either going left or right. Now, if you've ran that two or three times and they're starting to get used to that, player five can now take a step down and instead of screening for player three, what's going to be happening is he's going to be screening or back screening player four so that now player four cuts towards the rim. Now, if he's open, definitely hit him up for a layup. If he's not open and player four red fought through, what's going to happen now is player five is going to go and clear out and we're going to now have player four. He is going to go and set a back screen on player two who can either cut in over top down the key or baseline and this would be then a lob pass to him and then from there he could be open for that layup now we've all seen the five out offense we all know it's a motion offense as well however there are set plays that can be ran out of it we can have player three go and cut baseline and player two to go and screen down for player four. Now this would be a back screen as well as a side screen and player four would be able to choose which direction he wants to go. Does he want to go baseline and possibly get a nice easy layup or does he want to pop out and possibly get an open three point shot? Now those are two different options and if you've ran this one play two maybe three times and they're starting to get used to it because maybe you might not have a lot of plays or whatever the reason is these two players can go and do a, what's called a fake screen now where one of these two players can screen for the other. So personally, what I like to do is have player two setting the screen down for player three who's then going to roll up either to the mid-range or three-point line area where now player one can pass to player three for that mid-range or three-point shot. Okay, so now we've got one last play that I'm going to show you. What we're going to have now is player 5 setting a screen down. Again, this is another 5-out offense, and we're going to have player 2 using that screen. 
he is going to pop up to the free throw line extended. And from there, he could be open for a three-point shot. That's not necessarily our number one option, but if he's open and he's a good shooter, definitely hit him up for that shot because, obviously, that would be a great opportunity. Next, what we're going to have is player five continuing through, and he's going to be setting a back screen on player four. Now, at the same time, what we did in play number one, we're going to be doing again up top. However, player two is going to be taking a step down, so that it looks like a sandwich screen up top. However, it's not. Player 3 is then going to be using player 2 as a screen. And player 3 is going to be popping off to the free throw line extended. Player 1 is going to pass him the ball. And player 4 is going to be using player 5 as a back screen. And he's going to be going down to the low post. Now what we see here is either player 3 could take the shot. Or he could pass to player 4 for that layup. So there's a couple of different options in this play. These all work against a 2-3 and 3-2 zone as well. This last play works best against a 3-2 zone and a man-to-man -man defense. And I hope that these basketball plays help your team score more points. If they do, let us know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.